Hello, my name is Jerry Howard, and today we're going to be talking about metabolic processes. So uh, before we get started, let's go ahead and define what metabolism is. So by my own definition, I would say that it's how the body gets and uses energy. But if we're looking at it from more of like a chemical, biochemical level, it would be the building up and breaking down of molecules. So there are two types of pathways that we're going to be talking about. Um, the first one is anabolism. So anabolism is um, a synthesis of larger molecules. So it's making smaller molecules into larger molecules and it requires energy. And so uh, catabolism is the breakdown of larger molecules. So you have one larger molecule and you're making it into small molecules and it releases energy while in the middle of that. So um, we're gonna start off with animalism, of course. So uh, like I explained before, it's a uh, smaller um, molecules plus energy becoming larger molecules. So um, one type of anabolic reactions that we're going to be looking at is dehydration synthesis. So what dehydration synthesis is, is it basically joins specific types of small molecules by removing water molecules. So um, an example of this would be uh, simple sugar molecules um, being put into larger molecules of glycogen, which store energy into their um chemical bonds. So um, that right there definitely shows a smaller molecules plus some energy becoming bigger molecules. So catabolism, as you can see, is, you know, a larger molecule getting broken down into smaller molecules and also releasing energy. So this energy right here about 60% of the time, it's going to be heat. Oh, let me spell that better. Heat. And um, the other 40% of the time is going to be energy used um, for various things uh, with the cell. So um, a process we're going to be talking about within catabolism, um, a catabolic reaction, if you will, um, is called hydrolysis. And so um, hydrolysis is literally the reverse or the opposite of um, the dehydration synthesis that's in anabolism. So um, some examples I would say would be like proteins being broken down into amino acids or nucleic acids being broken down into nucleotides. So uh, this, is a, this is an example of both pathways working um, at the same time. So if you look at this uh, going this way, so left to right, you'll see that animalism is taking place. So you see that uh, two small molecules are happening right here. And so um, when you combine them, you get one big molecule, which is this uh, triglyceride right here. So now if you look at it going over this way, then you'll see that catabolism is at work and you see that this one big uh, triglyceride is uh, being broken down into these two smaller molecules. So um, in conclusion, uh, both pathways are carefully controlled, so uh, they're controlled so that each reaction occurs at rates that are adjusted to the requirements of the buildup um, or any energy using reactions. Also, too, just to bring everything together, uh, many reactions of metabolism are reversible. So um, as you saw on the last slide, um, they can both pretty much be happening at once, but so you can reverse it if needed. So um, yes, they are reversible, but each reaction might require a different enzyme to speed up said reaction.
And these are my citations. Um, I have citations for the information and for the pictures.